Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I think like two days ago, somebody asked me some help on doing a wrap with like paper or a label all the way around a container that's uh, tapered and round. And I've gotten, I have a, one of my best friends of my life is a math genius, and then I've got a math genius that gives me hints. I had them both kind of working on it, and they they both helped, but it ended up being taking better measurements and just drawing it out in Corel, it came dead on. Now, in the picture, I actually put the light behind it so you can see the papers overlap just a little bit, but I'm not all the way at the very top when I was taping it, and it is so close. There's, there's the gap right there all the way down. So this worked. <clears throat> the only thing I can say is take as good as measurement. I, my uh, calipers don't have batteries right now, but the glass I was using was, uh, and I actually told the mathematicians, uh, the people that were trying to help me, that the, the top was... Uh, I think I said it was three and a half across the diameter. And I used a online calculator instead of using Pi. And um, the, the top was actually, and I have to apologize to my mentors. Uh, I broke the first glass. So I went and got another glass and maybe it was a little bit off. And then I was running the test and maybe I didn't do it. But the first glass was 3.406. That gave me a circumference of 570. I'm gonna round it off. And then the bottom of the cup was, oh, brought out a calculator, trying to get rid of the calculator. The other bottom of the cup was 3.313. So it's uh, 2.67, I called it, I rounded it off. So what you do is you go into Corel and you draw that first line and you make it your circumference, which is uh, 10.7 long. Then you go in and duplicate that line, but we're, the, the glass is five and uh, three quarters long. So I'm gonna control D or hit the plus key and then move that down but I'm gonna make the second one 7.267. And then I did it uh, really accurate. I'm gonna draw a two point line from that line to that line. Now I need a longer line to see where these guys meet to make my circle. And I actually kind of came up with this and both my math people were trying to do it with well, I'm doing it with math, but they were trying to give me a, a formula. So I drew a straight line holding down the control button. And if you have no interest ever doing this, you can just stop watching now, but if you're ever gonna make a wrap. So I'm gonna use the angular dimension tool, and I'm gonna find out this dimension. And it is 16.62. I always check, make sure I'm at the center. So remember, 16.62, because that's a pretty important, because you can't extend this line out uh, very well. And I see my lines join, so I'm gonna take my shape tool and break that apart. And then I should be able to just grab my line, go up to object, break the curve apart. Sometimes when you draw a line, it does that. Get the pick tool now and double click on that line and bring it up to that node and rotate it 16.62. See what it did? It put a line right on my line, but you can't draw that line without doing that. Then take that line and duplicate it and then mirror it the other way and then just move this mirrored line over here. Now this is this to me is the key on figuring this thing out. You don't have to do this, but I'm uh, move that out of the way or delete that line. Now we need to draw an ellipse to get the curvature. 
So we're going to take the uh, ellipse tool and put it right there on the node, holding down the shift and the control button so it'll grow out. And you need to go to the top of the line because that's going to be the longest part. If you put it below, it's going to be the shorter part. So control D again, making a duplicate. This time, just hold down the shift key. Now, it's hard to see if that thing's dead on. But what you can do, and somehow my first one went away. I've been having trouble tonight with a control D. So just get it close, but we need to be dead on. And you can see my line's not dead on. Well, I can't see it that close and, and grab my handles. So I'm just gonna make this 147 too much. 146.5. Right, close enough for the video. You could actually play around with that a little bit more. This one, same thing. You can't see it, but you can change it to 99.5, dead on. Now, take your virtual segment delete key and delete this line. Take this, and there is your label size. It should be dead on. So we left click, right click, and what I would do, uh, I can't even remember the person I was trying to help at first. You know, rotate it 90 degrees and print it out on a regular printer. I'm gonna make my printer paper, my page size, 8.5 times 11, hit P. Print that out on just regular paper to make sure you're right. And I'm, I'm ecstatic. Um, how it worked out, I mean, it's it's dead on. Um, and if I would have taken more time with my taping it down and, and not, all, not all the way to the lip, but the top and the bottom are dead on. Uh, I've, I've cut out probably 10 pieces of paper this weekend uh, trying to get this to work. And I think it was all just because I didn't have good measurements. So use a, use a pair of calipers or, you know, like one of my math mentors said tonight, or the other day, it's hard to measure the circumference, even with a paper tape. Uh, but I just, you know, measure the diameter. If you don't know how to, you know, get the math, just, you know, I mean, I know the formulation, but you'd have to expand it, you know, the pi all the way out. Let's just say if this was 2.5 inches, you know, there's your circumference right there. And, and round that off to like, 7.8, you know, five or, you know, something, or even if you can put in that number, just use that number. Anyway, I truly hope that helped him and somebody else in the future for doing a wrap around a, and this would help you printing or even engraving on a cup, I would think, and put a pattern inside that pattern and, and then, of course, take away the line and get them really close to that line, and, and it would, should start and stop. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.